Hi, I'm Steph. I'm a Hobbycraft artisan and sewing expert. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the Hobbycraft HD17 heavy duty sewing machine and I'll also be introducing you to a project from the Hobbycraft Ideas Hub. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel by clicking on the bell icon to be notified of future videos. The Hobbycraft HD17 sewing machine will make the perfect choice for even the most demanding of jobs. It's ideal for every task from basic repairs, dress making projects, to quilting and even sewing thicker materials. With 17 different stitches, it is capable of sewing most fabrics including up to 6mm of denim. Other features included are a stitch length dial, a built in sewing light, automatic needle threader, 4 step buttonhole, thread cutter, reverse lever and a slot that allows you to sew sleeves and hem garments. This machine also comes with extra accessories such as a zipper foot, non-stick foot for effortless glide on tricky fabrics, overcasting foot and more. To begin any project we first need to thread our machine. Firstly fill your bobbin with cotton by using the bobbin winder on top of the machine. Once full we can place this into the bobbin case which is underneath where the needle sits. To thread the machine, make sure the needle is at its highest position by turning the hand wheel on the side of the machine and ensure the presser foot is up. Follow the number guides and diagrams on the machine before threading the needle. Turn the hand wheel on the side of the machine towards you to catch and bring up the bobbin thread. You should have two threads hanging out of the back of the machine. For this project, I will be sewing using a 1cm or quarter of inch seam allowance. A top tip is to use a sewing gauge to check your stitch line. This machine has guidelines on the base plate which can help you sew the correct seam allowance. To make a simple envelope cushion, you will need to cut three pieces of fabric measuring 16.5 inches by 16.5 inch square for the front of the cushion and for the back two pieces 16.5 inches by 12 inches. These measurements are for a 17 inch cushion pad. You'll notice the fabric is cut smaller to create a plump cushion. For the back pieces of the cushion, you need to double hem one of the long edges and repeat with the second piece. Once you've hemmed both pieces, it's time to lay your fabric together. Lay your front cushion piece so that it is front side facing up, then place your two back pieces on top so that the right sides of the fabric are facing. The back pieces will overlap to create the envelope back. Pin your layers together and then sew around the whole edge with a generous 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. If you want to, you can reinforce where the overlap sits by sewing back and forth a couple of times to add strength. To finish the raw edge and to help prevent fraying, sew around the whole cushion again, this time using a zigzag stitch at around a quarter of an inch or a 1 cm seam allowance. To reduce any bulk and add extra protection from fraying, cut around the edge using pinking shears. Turn out your cushion cover so it's the right way out. Use a blunt tool like a crochet hook to push out the corners. Insert the cushion and your cushion is finished. 